everybody, Donny Gardner here with the Boston Terrier Society. Today we're going to be talking about are Boston Terriers hypoallergenic? The answer is no. No, they are not. While they do shed less than most breeds, they still are, you know, will cause allergies to somebody who suffers from allergies when it comes to dogs. Whenever Emily and I were looking for Boston Terriers, well actually, so back it up 10 years back in 2009, when Emily and I were looking for a dog, we wanted to find a dog that didn't shed and was hypoallergenic just because you know we have family members that are allergic to dogs and we thought this would help we even have friends that are allergic to dogs and we thought having a dog that didn't shed would help whenever we were going through the internet looking you know back in 2009 that was a decade ago it, or actually 11 years ago but it feels the internet was still new so we found Boston Terriers which we love Bella but we thought she didn't shed because she was a shed less dog but that just meant she shed she shedded less than normal dogs. Anyways, with all that said, they can and will cause allergies to people that suffer from allergies. Like I said, we have family members, so here I have some tips on what you can do to help eliminate the allergies within your house to hopefully make that experience when people do come over more bearable. And if you do have family members, like immediate family members, like kids, uh, dad, mom, whoever that live in the house, you can use these tips as well, but always, if you don't have a Boston, you have somebody that's allergic to dogs, don't get a Boston Terrier because they will cause allergy problems. Let's get into this article. What makes dogs, you know, allergy prone? And it's the protein. This protein can come in the form of either their urine, so you can actually have somebody suffer from allergies if a dog has peed, because it can come from the proteins in their urine. Also, it comes from the proteins that's found on the dead skin. Whenever your dog flakes off skin, that's going to cause allergies. Whenever you see it at the tip of their hair, that's what causes allergies. If you can eliminate the pet dander in your house, and obviously any type of urine, then you can have essentially a allergy-free home. Let's get into the tips, the 10 tips to eliminate pet dander in your home. Number one, wash your dog regularly. Just like I said, any of that hair that flakes off, that little protein on the tip, that's what's, that's what's going to cause that allergy to allergy sufferers. Sufferers. Number two, wash your dog's bed. It's getting rid of that extra hair. Any saliva, if there's protein in that saliva, that could cause an allergy. Um, wash your dog's belongings, just like you would their bed. Vacuum regularly. Vacuuming regularly with some type of pet vacuum is going to help. Emily and I just got a Goovy. It's basically an off-brand of like the iRobot, the robotic vacuums. Those are great because we can run that thing every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, and it actually gets up a lot of stuff. I'll put a link in the show notes below just so you can check out that video. They actually work really good. They're like 150 bucks. Number five, dust. Dusting is going to help eliminate any of that excess dander that's just kind of flaked off and flown in the air and then land somewhere. If you have a company that's coming over that's allergy prone to dogs, you're going to want to do this if you have a Boston Terrier. Number six, changing out air filters in your heating unit and your AC units. Change out those air filters because that'll help uh, alleviate, alleviate any of that. And there should be some hypoallergenic filters that you can put in place that are a little more expensive that should help. Number seven, air purifiers. Emily and I tried this. We ended up getting some of the cheaper brands. You can see here on the website, I've listed out some of the ones that are well recommended, um, plus Amazon Prime. If you click any of these links, obviously I get paid for them. I have not personally used any of these, but I just put them up there in case somebody wants to learn more about air purifiers and it gives you some options with some really good reviews. Next, get rid of the carpet in your home. This might be a tough one, but if you can get rid of the carpet, it's just easier. None of that pet dander is going to hold in the carpet. Because even Bella's hair, it gets stuck. Like, Boston Terrier's hair is so little, but it'll get stuck in your carpet, and it is hard to get out. Unless you're shampooing your rugs often, it, doing no carpet and wiping stuff away will eliminate, or at least... Uh, lessen the amount of allergies that are in your home. This leads us into number nine, shampooing your carpets regularly will help. And number 10, confine your dog to certain areas of your home. Let's say you went ahead and just did hardwoods throughout your house minus the rooms, the bedrooms. Well, if your dog sleeps in a crate and not in the bedroom, just don't even let him in the bedrooms and it'll help eliminate, I'm looking down because we have carpet in the bedrooms, it'll help eliminate that pet dander that can be spread around and stuck in the carpets. Or 
Once again, if you live in a house where your kids have allergies to dogs or your husband and wife, this is also another great option, but you're really going to want to talk to your doctor. I tried to do some research into this as far as somebody dying, you know, from dogs and pet dander. And I want to say, I obviously didn't look into it enough to tell you confidently, but I don't think people actually die from dog-related allergies unless they're at a point where, you know, they need an EpiPen, something like that. For sure, contact your doctor if you suffer from allergies and you still want a pet to see if it's okay and how severe it is. Because the worst thing that you could do is put a family member in a situation where they never want to come over to your house because you have a dog. Or, obviously, you kill somebody because you decided to have a dog and they're allergic to one. Once again, don't think it's possible, but contact your doctor. So are Boston Terriers hyperallergenic? No, they are not, but they are a breed that shed less than most. I mean, you're going to get the equivalent of basically a handful of hair throughout the week. And as long as you're doing those things that I mentioned, you know, dusting, shampooing, washing your Boston Terrier's belongings, it's going to help lessen that protein that's found in pet dander that actually causes the allergen to allergy sufferers. sufferers. That was a tricky sentence. So if you like videos like this, you like learning about Boston Terriers, be sure to click subscribe. You can also visit that article that I'd written in the show notes below, and it's going to lay out everything that we just kind of went through. Hope you like this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.